Hello, and welcome to Lucky Charms Explained, the series where we look at symbols of luck from across the world and talk about where they come from, how they are used, and what exactly they represent. On today's episode, the Cornicello, this curvy, crown-topped southern Italian pepper, a not-so-subtle ancient Roman symbol for male fertility. The Cornicello, otherwise known as the Cornetto, the Corno, the Corno Porta Fortuna, or even the Italian Horn, is one of the weirder looking and lesser known of the world's lucky charms. It's more of a regional trinket, popular in southern Italy, but hardly anywhere else. Despite being somewhat overlooked, the Cornicello has a long, long history, and one that is somewhat unclear. One thing that seems sure is that it probably did not start out looking so much like a pepper. The term cornicello means little horn in Italian. One theory traces the cornicello to the Neolithic period, roughly 3500 BCE. People in these days would carry around small horn-like charms, either real animal horns or crafted to resemble real horns perhaps the twisted horn of the African eland, or some say just an ox horn. Another theory places the Cornicello's emergence more recently, with the Greeks or the Romans, both of whom worshipped horned moon gods, Selene and Luna, respectively. Roman and Greek versions would have been made out of precious metals, but in the Middle Ages people started using coral, which is responsible for the Cornicello's distinctive red color. Around this time, we also see the inclusion of the crown atop, and it takes on more of a pepper shape, a form recognizable in modern times. The use of the Cornicello has evolved over time. Neolithic Cornicellos would be worn, carried, or hung at the entrance to a residence. During antiquity, they were used as prayer devices, part of an offering to the respective goddess. These days, they are often worn as pendants, mainly by young men, and seen mostly in southern Italy, specifically the regions of Campania, Lazio, Apulia, and Basilicata. They are also hung from the rear-view mirrors of trucks and cars, which is a modern version of their historical use of being hung to protect draft horses. Tourists to these regions often purchase the Cornicello as a souvenir, which violates one of the three unbreakable rules Italians observe in relation to the talisman. The first, that the Cornicello must be given as a gift, and not bought for oneself. The only exception is if you negotiate a discount, in which case self-purchase is okay. The second rule states that a Cornicello needs to be Rosto storto e cuaponta, rigid, crooked, and pointed. The final rule: the cornicello must be hollow, so that good energy can find its way inside. The cornicello has many layers of symbolism. The first and most obvious one, and we have to get this out of the way, is that it looks like the male genitalia. This resemblance stands for male fertility and alludes to the cult of Priapus, the Greek god of male fertility, known for his enormous member, which he rarely kept clothed. There is a reason I am only showing his top half. The pepper resemblance also relates to this meaning, since the hot pepper is an aphrodisiac, and also it's common in the region where the cornicello is popular. Roman cornicellos often were made of silver, which was sacred to the moon god Luna, However, the later used coral was sacred to Venus, the Roman goddess of love, which fits with the whole virility theme. The crown represents wealth, apparently. Someone probably just added it in the Middle Ages because they thought it looked cool, and the idea stuck on. The resemblance to an animal horn references animal strength, and also wealth, the wealth of owning animals. The most widespread modern superstition is that the Cornicello protects its bearer from the evil eye, or malocchio, a curse stemming from a malevolent gaze. The now popular red color has to do with this, since red was seen as especially effective in safeguarding against the eye. More recently, the Cornicello has also picked up the meaning 
of pride in one's Italian heritage. This confusing hodgepodge of metaphors is just what happens when a lucky charm exists for thousands of years. People just make stuff up about it, and a lot of it sticks. Regardless of its true meaning, the Cornicello today stands for fertility and protection against the forces of evil, and its visual uniqueness is sure to engender all sorts of confused looks from those unfamiliar. And that's all. Hope you enjoyed this video taking a closer look at the Cornicello. If you did, please like and subscribe for more episodes of Lucky Charms Explained. And in the comment section, let me know which specific symbols you want to see spotlighted next.